All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Thrive Forever Fit Show. I am your host, Jay Nixon, and today we're going to talk about checking boxes. But before we get into that, let me just go over why we do this show. The entire purpose of this show, as you know, is to disrupt the way you think. And today is going to be all about disruption. Disrupt the way you think, inspire you to think differently, and give you the tools to transform your life into the life you deserve and desire to live. All right, here is how this podcast came about. I think about this quite a bit, but the other day I was at my fitness studio and I noticed that the crew, and some of you are listening, the crew was just going through the motions. Like they were walking around, they weren't, there was no pep in their step. They were just kind of going through the motions. And I got the, the, it hit me like a ton of bricks. And I just, I said out loud, if you've ever worked out in my studio, you know, it's a, it's just a different environment. It's a different mentality. I love my people, but I coach hard. I coach aggressively. I feel like when people show up to a workout, they need to get the best out of me because I'm expecting the best out of them. And I simply said out loud, like, listen, if you're here just to check a box, you're in the wrong place. Like you've showed up to the wrong gym. There's plenty of gyms. There's plenty of studios across town that will allow you to show up and just check the box. But that is not here. That is not me. And that won't be you if you want to be here. And then I got the idea, like, listen, if this is happening to my people, this is happening to everybody. So I started thinking about the whole check the box mindset that we're all living in. Like 90% of the people in, in, in the world live in this weird check the box mentality. In today's podcast, I'm going to tell you why the check the box mentality is actually holding you back and keeping you from the success that you deserve. I believe that checking the box, like having that check the box mentality is the equivalency of getting excited about receiving a participation ribbon. I don't know about you, but I don't want a participation ribbon. I want the blue ribbon. I want the trophy. I want to win. And you got to want to win too. Like that mentality, that check the box participation ribbon mentality will not get it done. Not only is it holding you back, but it's creating damaging false beliefs that you're doing everything you can. Think about that. That check the box mentality is creating a damaging false belief that you're actually doing everything you can. And you know why this is the deadliest excuse you can use? Because when you have this kind of mentality and you don't succeed, you've got the excuse built in that, well, it must be somebody else's fault. It must be society's fault. It must be his fault, her fault, their fault, but it's never my fault, right? See, that's what the check the box mentality creates. It creates an illusion that it's not your fault. And I'm here to tell you, it is your fault. You are 100% responsible for the life that you live. Now, before you get pissed, throw the phone out the window with me on it. Let me explain. But before I do that, I even want to do, I want to do one more thing for you. Before I even explain, I want to make you a promise. If you will listen to this entire episode and you'll drop the, the check the box mentality and you'll begin to live on purpose with passion, your life will change forever. And you're like, ah, okay, whatever, Jay. I mean, that sounds cute, but whatever. And listen, I know that's a bold statement. I get it. And you're probably asking yourself, is that true? My answer would be, you bet your sweet ass it's true. Not only have I, do I live this lifestyle, I don't believe in checking boxes. But I've, I have thousands and thousands of test cases and clients that have stopped checking the boxes of their life and started living with reckless abandon on purpose and with passion. And they're living proof that this mentality is a broken, failing formula because that's what had them stuck in the first place. Once we started blowing up boxes, there was nothing left to check. They started getting better and better and better. Now, though this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and it sounds like it's, it's something that's, that's unrealistic because w- what do you mean? Like you have thousands of clients that, that have all of a sudden started, you know, that just start, stop checking the box. It's a mentality, guys. It's a mindset shift. It's, it's going from thinking that I'm going to do this just so I can tell somebody I did it, just so I can post it on social media, just so I can take an Instagram photo of me at the gym with weights behind me or the stair climber to actually doing things with purpose and with passion. 
I'm going to give you a few scenarios and analogies that will help shine a light on the deficiency and the destructive nature of this behavior. And I know some of these are going to resonate with you. I'm going to talk about the fitness way, the way you fitness. I was going to say the way you fitness check boxes. That doesn't make any damn sense. The way you check boxes with your fitness game, the way you check boxes with your relationship game, which is dangerous. And the way you check boxes with your money game, your work game, your business game, which is equally dangerous. So here's the, the best scenario is this, because you, you're all going to get this because you all know Treadmill Nancy. See, Treadmill Nancy, she goes to the gym, she walks and she talks and she never breaks a sweat. She's there every day, but she doesn't really do anything. She gets on the same treadmill, walks at the same 2.1 speed, talks on the phone the entire time, doesn't move, doesn't do anything, doesn't break a sweat. That's not a workout, Nancy. But you can bet your ass when Nancy goes around, what did you do today, Nancy? Psh, worked out. No, you didn't. You didn't work out. You went to the gym. But that's like going, to the, it's like going to the store and not buying anything. I mean, yeah, you went to the store. What'd you get? You know what I mean? You didn't do anything, Nancy. You just went to the gym. There's a big difference in going to the gym and working out. It's like the, it's like the whole reason I'm doing this podcast. When I saw my peeps like going through the motions, like just half-assing it, I got irritated. They should have been irritated. Because why show up? Why go to the gym? Why go to, to work out if you're merely doing it to check a box? If you're merely doing it to post a selfie? If you're merely doing it to, to validate yourself somehow with that false belief that you're doing something? And I'm not knocking people who are going to the gym, busting their ass, and still, and still they're a little bit stuck. I'm, going to the, I'm talking about people who go to the gym, have the ability to make a difference and a change, and then don't do it. And then people say, and then, well, hey, I thought you joined that gym. You're like, yeah, it doesn't really work for me. You didn't, you, you're not even doing the work, Nancy. Like you're just showing up. Like you're not even going through, you're not even getting the, you're not even doing the reps. I see it all the time. Well, I mean, I'll do something as simple as like, I'll say, hey, we're going to hold a plank position for one minute, right? 10 seconds in, people are laying on the ground. You can't tell me, you can't tell me that you can't hold something for longer than 10 seconds, right? But you're going to go tell everybody else you went and worked out today. I don't know. Sounds crazy to me, man. Sounds crazy to me. This is why it's, this is why it's such a downfall. This is why it's such a pitfall. And this is why people get stuck in it. They'll continue to do those things over and over again. And when you start to do the check the box in one area of your life, it shows up in every area of your life. Let's think about relationships for a second. Relationships fail every single day because people get stuck in this check the box, go through the motions mentality. It's like, the, yeah, 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 I love you too, babe. Love you too, babe. Right? Love you too. Right? It's the, it's the only go on a date night once a year on your anniversary. Like, like, yeah, you're a baller. You took your lady out for the, your anniversary once a year. And then you wonder why you're not close. You wonder why you're not connected. You wonder why there's no passion. There's no purpose to the, to the relationship. You're just going through the motions. You're just checking the box. You get the card on the birthday, right? You're just checking boxes. If you want a really powerful relationship, blow that box up. Create new levels, of new dimensions of how you, how you respond and react in, in that relationship, and you'll get a dynamic relationship that you never even believed was possible. But as long as you're checking that box, oh, shit, it's the anniversary. I better get something. I better get a card and those stale-ass flowers from Ralph's. Nothing wrong with Ralph's. I'm not sorry if you work at Ralph's or if you own Ralph's or whatever. You brought, Ralph. I'm just using that as a scenario. I mean, let's be honest. They're not the nicest flowers. You know what I mean? your wife, your husband, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever you're buying flowers for on the anniversary deserves a little something nicer than the flowers, right? I'm going to give you a perfect example. I'll use myself as an analogy. So Lori's got a birthday coming up and you guys are going to be like, yeah, F you, Jay. We don't care about, listen, I'm going to tell the story anyway, my show, right? I'm telling stories. So Lori says, hey, I know what I want for my birthday. See, we've got this thing. Like, I don't, like, I, I want Lori to have what Lori wants. I don't want Lori to have what Jay thinks Lori wants, right? Because those could be very two different. Those could be two very different things, especially when it comes to the, jewel, the jewelry world. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an idiot. 
right? I don't know. But if she tells me, hey, chief, here's a picture. This is where I know they have it. I can take my ass over there. I can make a great purchase. So she shows me this. She's like, hey, I figured out what I wanted for my birthday. Shows me this picture, tells me where to get it. Her birthday's not for a month. I gave it to her yesterday. I mean, last week. I gave it to her on Friday. Not that you're going to listen to this. I don't even when you're going to listen to the show. I gave it to her a month before her birthday. And I even wrote in the card, hey, babe, I know this is a month before your birthday. I gave it to her on July the 27th or July 26th. And her birthday is on August 26th. I said, I know this is a month before your birthday, but listen, I never want you to have to wait for something that you want. That's how we should treat all our relationships. Why do I need to wait a month to give somebody I love something for her birthday? And guess what? I'm gonna get her, I'll probably get her something else on her birthday because I'm a weirdo. Like I like to give her shit. But if she says she wants something, I'm not going to wait till her birthday to go get it. That's how you check a box. Oh, it's her birthday. I better check the box. I better get this, right? I want to take her out to eat anytime she wants to go out to eat. I want every night should be date night. Up your game. Everybody, men, women, whatever, whoever, um, whoever's listening, up your game. If you want your relationship to be powerful and positive, up your game. Let's move on to some money. How many of you right now wish you had more money than you have? Every hand in the room went up. I don't care if you're a billionaire, you want more money, right? But if you're broke and you can't afford living the life you want to live and you have this mentality, I went to work today, pay me, right? That's the mentality that we're in right now. We're in this, I went to work today, pay me mentality. Instead of, I went to work today and did everybody's job. My job, his job, her job. I went to work today and excelled at exactly what it is that I was supposed to do. My customer service was above and beyond. I think there's an old, there's an old saying and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to butcher it. I mean, I'm going to absolutely slaughter, but it's something to this notion. Those who, those who give more, it's something about those who give more value or those who, who do more now will be paid later in great droves or financial windfalls or something like that. Somebody help me with that. If you're listening to the show, send me the exact quote. I'll find it after the show too. But it's something about that. Like don't, your, your circumstances, what you're doing right now is, should not be dictated upon your current level of like employment or whatever. Go above and beyond. Go above. If you're supposed to do, if you're supposed to make 10 phone calls, make 20. If you're supposed to see five customers, see 10. Go above and beyond in everything you do and you'll be rewarded for it. That's how life is. But if you just have this check the, check the box mentality and then believe you deserve to be quote unquote, pay me for that, you'll never be paid what you could be paid. You'll never be paid your true value because you're not showing up in life with your true value. You see, checking the box is the bare minimum. Average people check boxes. Elite people don't. That's the, that's the truth, guys. We as a society, you as an individual must eradicate this check the box lifestyle, this check the box mentality, because it is getting in the way of us living our best lives. It's getting in the way of us being the best versions of ourselves because we do just the bare minimum. Who knows people who just do the just the bare minimum? Who's gone somewhere in the service which is just the bare minimum? That's not good enough. Who's also gone somewhere and the service was like exemplary. You're like, holy shit, they go above and beyond here. Like this person gets it. This person gets it. Like, have you, who, who, I mean, who can give, think of an analogy right now? Like, where do you want to go back to? You want to go back to that place. You want that server. You want that particular person to helping you because they go above and beyond. They're not there just to check the box. How many of you are in a relationship where it's not a check the box relationship, where it's an amazing, flourishing relationship? How awesome does that feel? And on the flip side, how many of you are checking boxes? How deflating does that feel? I'll leave you with this. Here's the, here's the thing. Average people check boxes and proclaim that the job has been completed. Elite level people know there are no boxes because their goals are too big to be contained and the thought of the participation ribbon makes them sick. Here's the truth. Nobody listening to this podcast is average. You're not. You're not average. If you were average, you wouldn't be spending your time 
listening to stuff like this, listening to people like me, trying to get better. So if you will continue to execute at the highest level, all of your goals, all of your dreams will become a reality. And I know that may seem a little far off for some of you right now, depending upon where you are, depending on the current circumstances. But I promise you this, if you will, if you will continue to execute everything you do, when you go to the gym, execute. When you're talking with, about your relationship, when you're, when you're pouring into your relationship, execute at the highest level. When you're going to work, I don't care what you do. I don't care if you're a janitor. I don't care if you're the CEO. Execute at the highest level. If you will do that, you will be rewarded in spades for that. It's all about execution. Average people don't execute. Elite level people execute at the highest level of achievement. Remember that, guys. Stop checking the box. Start blowing up boxes. Start having goals and dreams and desires that are so big they cannot fit in a box. That's your way out of this. But if you keep just going through the motions, oh, I did that. I did that. I did that. Yeah, what do you mean you did that? What does that even mean? I did that. Like b- blow up the boxes. Get so passionate about your life that the thought of just showing up and being average makes you sick to your stomach. It's like getting that participation ribbon. Nobody wants it. All right. I could jump on a soapbox for hours, but I won't do it. Guys, thanks for listening to the show. As always, if you love the show, if you like the show, if you want to share the show, I'd love for you to do so. It almost rhymed. But here's what I need from you. I need you to share this with the people that you love. Why? Because if we all start working off of the same playbook, if we all start executing at the same levels, if we all stop checking boxes, then we all get better collectively. And that's how we grow as a society. That's how we grow as a culture. That's how we create the lives that we truly deserve and desire to live. So please share the show. Tell your friends, tell your family. If you're not part of my free Facebook group, Wellness Lab Launchpad, you have missed out. We just did an unbelievable six-day free training called Mindset Revolution in there, and we're going to do more of it. So get your butt over there. Go to Facebook, search Wellness Lab Launchpad, ask to join. I'll let you in. You're going to be part of the family. You're going to get more of this on a daily basis. You're going to get access to positive, powerful information, strategies, tools that will help you transform your life. So love you guys. I'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Bye.